All right, so welcome back. In the last video, we went and we created uh, the style sheet that was required. Let me just switch back to it now. We actually created the style sheet that was required for our, our child theme. We went through and we made sure to put all of the correct information inside here. Something I didn't actually mention that um, I, I'll mention right now is that technically speaking, the only lines that are required here is line two, which is the theme name, and line six, which is the template name. Everything else, strictly speaking, is optional. However, this obviously is very, very useful because you, you do want to, you, in most cases, you want to import the styles from the pre-existing parent theme and then just add on top of them. And then all this other stuff is just nice to have as well too. But strictly speaking, the only two lines you require a theme name and template. That is the bare minimum, okay? So now that we have built our child theme, let's go ahead and activate it. So I've switched back to the administrative interface here, the dashboard and Word, my WordPress site. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm in appearance themes. I'm gonna go ahead and reload this and we're gonna see something very interesting. We're going to see this other box right here. Now it's it looks different than the others because it doesn't have a screenshot, but that's okay, okay? I'm gonna talk later about how we can create that screen screenshot. But we see here it says 2012 child, which was what we called it, okay? And let's click on theme details and see what's written here. And look at this, we've got 2012 child version 1.0, right? And that's, let's switch back to Text Wrangler, that's what we wrote right here, um, by Robo Bunny Attack. And look, if I hover over there, it actually, we can see that if I click on that, it will bring me to my home page so that's pretty nice right and then we see this is a child theme based on the 2012 theme blah 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 and and WordPress actually recognizes this is a child theme of 2012 okay so we've set this up correctly how do we activate it well pretty straightforward we just click the activate button and then this will make our theme the active our child theme is now the active theme now this is really really important you cannot delete the parent theme from your WordPress installation, okay? You can delete these themes, unused themes, themes that have nothing to do with the parent theme or the child theme, you can delete those, but your parent theme must stay installed in your WordPress site, okay? Even though it's not active, it must be installed there, okay? Um, let's actually go and let's reload this and let's see if anything looks any different. It doesn't look any different. Did you expect it to look different? No, because we haven't customized anything, right? It, it really, all it's doing is it's, it's WordPress is going in and let's just switch over to Cyberduck. It reads, it reads right here. Oh, at import, import the CSS style sheet. Okay. And so it goes in here and it imports that style sheet and it applies those styles. And on top of that, this template here, template 2012, it will use all of these pre-existing PHP files that, Hey, you didn't have to code any of these because they're pre-existing. It's going to use, it's going to load all of those and use all of those to build your site. Okay. And so there it is. I don't know why it's taking a while to load. I'm just going to reload that again and see, there we go. So my server was just having a little bit of a hiccup there. So there we go. It doesn't look any different, right? So that's boring. So let's actually see if this is actually working. Because I mean, for all I know, I've got this activated, but how do I know that this is actually working? Let's actually go to Text Wrangler and let's add some custom themes or some custom styles right here. And this is something that um, is, let's try something really, really basic. Okay, I'm gonna just add an overall, again, I'm gonna do the background color because it's super, super easy. I'm just gonna add something for the body. I'm gonna say background color, whoops, I can't spell that right. And let's just do red again, okay, very, very simple. And let's go ahead and save that. And now, before we go and actually look at that, I wanna talk to you a bit about what's happening here, okay? This contains our styles. We have this very first command here that says, hey, go get the style sheet from the 2012 folder and apply that. And then we see here, there's a little comment here that says theme customization starts here. And then we've added our own custom style down here, okay? And anything that you write here is going to override anything that's inside here. And why is that? Okay, well, if you remember, again, if you remember your CSS, you should know that when CSS, if you ever write two conflicting commands or two conflicting styles within the same CSS style sheet, the browser will only recognize the very last style that it reads. So in this case, it reads all these styles first, and then it reads this, and so the browser goes, oh, even if you set up here in the style sheet, oh, I want my style to, you know, my background color to be gray, then, and then you say, oh, I changed my mind. I want my background color to be red. 
the browser goes, okay, last command I got was red, so I'm going with red. So let's see if this worked, okay? Fingers crossed, let's reload this. We're expecting the background to turn red, and it did. There we go, we just did our very, very first customization. Now notice that we have not touched the actual files inside the 2012 theme, and as it should be. We can very safely update any of the files inside here. We can apply security updates and it will have zero impact because all of our customizations will be stored within this particular style sheet, which is not inside this folder. It's inside this folder right here in the 2012 child folder. Okay, so again, remember your child's theme style sheet is included after the parent themes. And so any styles you write here are gonna override anything inside here. And that's how that works. So you can go in here, you can have fun, you can start really learning about CSS and experimenting with different things. And and uh, again, CSS, is this isn't really a CSS course, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that gives you sort of a breakdown of how you go in and how you start editing the CSS, okay? Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create that custom screenshot so that you don't have this boring sort of gray checker box looking thing right here. So we'll do this in the next video, okay? But until then, have fun.